personal, I feel challenged. Now you feel I challenged. Know, five years ago, yeah, it's, it's, uh, uh, um, I, 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 maybe I'm not the only one. I haven't been given the money. <laughs> I don't want, you know, I have a sense of what is a real, real issue. And the, the paradigm, I'll even tell you what it is, the paradigm issue of our philosophical is, is the, uh, 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 the liar paradigm, which I take with great seriousness, very interested in try to struggle with, with this. And uh, uh, one of the things that worries me about that, because it seems to me that it looks as if everybody is, it seems to me, you know, even the very able people, uh, that we really are in trouble. One of the things that worries me is that if we're in that kind of trouble, <coughs> how can we even deal with the other question? You see, I mean, look, because this is this is the simplest kind of, you know, the, the, the moves, everything is so simple. And the idea is that, okay, so, now you may not agree with me that this is so formal, but if it, 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 it I start with, you know, so on, so the, the, the picture I'm very worried about contemporary philosophy is, and therefore we try to respond to these water critics, where I'm already skeptical. See, the idea is something like this. Now, with a lie of things, we seem to be really, uh, you know, if we can solve the lie of paradox, at least we'd be worthy of getting into what you're talking about. Now, one thing is to just imply that uh, we have really no reason to think that your worries, that your worries after all, are all No, I mean, I, I guess I wouldn't quite say that. Oh. I mean, I don't think that. I mean, lots of, pe lots of people, when confronted with the liar paradox, make moves in effect at the world. Sometimes we mean truth one, and sometimes we mean truth two. So, you know, there's this incredible semantic proliferation that we don't notice at all. So, that doesn't seem wholly irrelevant, right? I don't know. No, no, no. You, you don't know those. So, there's a particular... I mean, you... <laughs> Okay. I mean, okay. You, you might be saying, well, if we're too stupid to solve the life yes, paradox, then, <laughs> <laughs> then, 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 then uh, you're, like, you're miles too stupid to say anything about this. <laughs> I think that's what no, you're saying. Wasn't, so. I do think I'm too stupid to solve the life paradox. So <laughs> the, the, certainly, you, I, mean, I mean, I hope that you could you know, raise tentatively raise some interesting yeah, sure, things in medicine. Mean, and, you know what I mean? No, I mean, no, no. I mean yeah. by the way, I take this to be a, a real contribution to literature and say, basically, you may well be right. But, uh, you know, we're going to go on anyway. I mean, you know, so, so it doesn't happen to you. Know, it's not yeah, I'm not. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, here's the other possible, really deep. What I get more and more of the sense of is that we, we are going to solve the lie of paradox because we've done some, solved something else. And it will be a byproduct, purely a byproduct. You see that you'll get that for free. It will be that will be it. Maybe these maybe these issues of plasticity, by the way. See, I'm really open. Well, multiplicity, to I mean there are some I, people. Right. Right. I have a colleague who thinks this multiplicity stuff helps with the live well, paradox. So, you know, would be, you know, that would be that would be, that would be a big bonus for that way. Work, yes. no, it's very good by yeah. working your way through this material. You see, where, where you could feel confident that this is really good. Now, that as a byproduct of that particular theory, see, this I regard is very plausible, rather interesting, that the byproduct of that theory would really come out there as a satisfactory resolution of the life paradox. Because
because we saw how convincing it was here, we got these principles here, and then they said, oh my God, that can be applied here. So that's it. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I wasn't really going for a view. I mean, I was trying to just display a space of problems and show how some of the naive, quick things people say to dismiss these issues are too quick. And that, I mean, I wasn't trying to do too much, you know. So. <laughs> you should. <laughs>